Hi guys, got a question here for you today. A cylindrical canister closed at both ends has a volume of 16,000 centimeters cubed. Find the minimum surface area of the canister. Okay, so hopefully when you see the words minimum surface area, you think this question is going to have to require some differentiation or some calculus. So that's what we're going to go about doing. So basically what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to um, have a formula which we're going to differentiate. So in this case, that's going to be the surface area. So the surface area of a cylinder, let's write that down, surface area of a cylinder is equal to, we've got the area of the top and the bottom. So the area of a circle, which is pi r squared times by two is two pi r squared. Plus, now I've got the bit that wraps around. Now, the bit that wraps around is like a rectangle with a length equal to the circumference of a circle. So that's 2 pi r. And the width is equal to the height of this thing. So that's going to be, in the end, the function that we're going to differentiate. However, the problem that we have is this is in terms of two different variables. The height can change and the radius can change. So what we have to do is we have to have another function called a constraint function, which is going to bound this, these parameters together. So the constraint comes from the fact that the volume of this cylinder has to be 16,000 centimeters cubed, because what that will mean is there are only certain values that R and H can take once we have this constraint function together. So what we're going to need is we're going to use this to come up with a volume equation. So we have volume is equal to, for a cylinder, it's the area of the top, which is pi R squared, times by the depth or height. So therefore we can write height in terms of volume and radius by just doing a little bit of basic algebra and having height is equal to volume divided by pi r squared. Cool. So the reason we've done that is because then we can substitute in the volume that we've been given, which is 16,000. And we can, so we've got that over pi r squared. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just get this height variable. And because these two functions are part of the same situation, we can then just substitute this height variable in for this one, in the original function, which we're going to try and differentiate. Okay, so what that does then is we get a surface area equation in terms of one variable, r. So we've got surface area in terms of radius, and that's going to be equal to 2 pi r squared plus, we're going to do a bit of cleanup on this in a sec, 2 pi r, and then instead of putting h, we're going to put some brackets and write 16,000 divided by pi r squared. Cool. So basically what we have to do now is we're just going to simplify it to make our differentiation um, problem easier. So to simplify it, what we're going to do is we've got the pi here and the pi here will cancel. We've got 2 times that. We'll do that in a minute. And the radius at the top and one of the radii in the bottom will cancel. So what we're going to be left with is surface area is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 times 16 is 32 thousand divided by the radius because we've, we don't have to square it anymore because we've cancelled one of them out. Cool. So now we've got our objective function or the function which we want to optimize in terms of just one variable. And so now we can differentiate it. Now the 
The front part of this differential is quite self-explanatory. We've got like just the surface area, I will write prime or the derivative of it, is going to be equal to 4 pi r. The second part, let me just change colour for a second to make it easy to understand. If we just get this and we'll move it over here. This can be written as 32,000 times r to the power of negative 1. Now that's using just a simple index law which states that a, um, you can do the reciprocal of a index by changing the power from either a negative to a positive or a positive to a negative. So when we go to differentiate this, we get negative 32,000 by times that 1 by the coefficient times r, to the, then we reduce the power of this by 1 to minus 2. And then that goes to negative 32,000 divided by r squared. Great. So let's throw that in to our differential. So that's going to be minus 32,000 divided by r squared. Great. And now we know to minimize the surface area, we're going to have to find a turning point now on our function. So the turning points on our function, if we have just a random function like this, the turning points, i.e. here and somewhere around here, are where the derivative equals zero. So we're going to make this function here equal zero. And then we're going to solve for r. So let's go about doing that. I'll change color again so you can, this is just the algebra section. So we're going to get this number, we'll take it over to the other side of the equal sign and we're going to be left with 4 pi r is equal to 32,000 divided by r squared. Cool, so I'm going to move the r squared up to the top and I'm going to move the 4 pi down to the bottom. So I'm left with r cubed is equal to 32,000 divided by 4 is going to be 8 thousand over pi. Cool. So then what we can say is then we'll take that up here and we can say that r is going to be equal to the cube root of this. Now the cube root of 8,000, the cube root of 8 is 2, the cube root of 1,000 is 10, so we can just go, this is going to equal 20 divided by the cube root of pi. Which, let me just put that into the calculator, um, is 13.656. Cool. So that's the radius of the minimum surface area. Now, all we have to do is calculate the height. Now, if we know that the height is equal to 16,000, divided by pi r squared and radius is 13.656 and we're going to square that and let me just put that into the calculator we get 27.31 So then finally, let me just rub this part out, give myself some space. Finally, what we have to do is we just have to input the numbers that we're given back into the original formula. So we have surface area. We, we didn't really need to find height, to be perfectly honest, but surface area is equal to 2 pi r squared 
So this minimized surface area is going to be equal to 2 pi, God, it's a worse pi, pi r, which is we calculated to be 13.656 squared plus 32,000 divided by r, which is 13.656. Cool. And if we put that into the calculator, we get the minimized surface area. So the surface area, and let's write just in brackets, min, is equal to 3,515.02 centimeters, and this is surface area, so it's squared. And so that's our final result there. So basically what we've had to do is to minimize the surface area, we first of all have to come up with a objective function or a function for the parameter which we need to minimize. Once we've done that, we found that the function was in terms of two variables, r and h. So as a result, we had to find a constraint function or a bounding function or whatever you want to call it. And for that, we were able to use this 16,000 centimeters cubed to come up with a bounding function in volume. So what we did is we made the volume equation in terms of one of the variables, h, and then substituted into our original objective function. And that gave us an objective function in terms of one variable. After we'd done that, I find that that bit there is what people struggle with the most. After you've got the function in terms of one variable, it's quite simple to then differentiate it, use, set it equal to zero, then use some algebra to get to the final solution. So I hope that video helped. Um, most problems that involve um, surface area and volume um, parts to them are exactly the same as this. So I hope this one sort of explains this particular one. If you need any other help, let me know. If you want to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I'll talk to you next time.